Give it a second. Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Peace and love. We bring peace love. love. We bring light. Give me a second. Let me give me a second to tap in. I don't think everybody in yet. We're gonna let everybody tap in. We laugh. We got Gina Conwell in. What's up, Gina? How y'all feeling? How everybody feeling? Trying to give a second for everybody to tap in. Then I'm gonna introduce y'all to the property owner and the founder of the land and what we're gonna do and how we're building here. Okay. Yeah, 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 we gonna come, we gonna come over here. So we just come over here. While we, we just gonna do like a quick little introduction. Want to let y'all know what we stand for, what the retreat is about. Um, just something real quick. I'm gonna go live again later on this week. I'm gonna let y'all see the environment. They finna start start a little class real quick of breathing. So I'm gonna talk low and then I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna speak. But um, I want y'all to be able to see Carrie like we need to face this way so we can see this. And so this is my brother right here, Carrie. Man, this is Carrie Jackson. Y'all go, y'all go add Holistic Living Vi Village. We in Mango Tree, Honduras. Holistic Living Village. Um, this man used to sit with Dr. Savi on a daily basis, and so it's all love. We're here to restore our human expression of life, restore human consciousness. Our first purpose is to be human. Our first purpose is to be a healthy expression of life, living in harmony with self, other, and all life around. Living in harmony with nature. Living in harmony with the sun, with the rain, with the earth with the breath that holds our body together right now, we'll all fall apart. If we cannot do that, we have failed, family. It is not impossible to live in harmony with nature and still have fun and still have kids and still have families and still be entertained by life itself without destroying life itself, without destroying self, other, and all life around, without feeding the parasites that's inside your body, without feeding the parasite on the outside of your body called Babylon, without nourishing mental ignorance, without nourishing mental death, without nourishing mental uh, oppression, Without, without nourishing emotional oppression, without nourishing physical oppression. We are physically oppressed. We are mentally oppressed. We are spiritually oppressed. We are an emotionally oppressed people and we must recover. We must recover our families and it won't be easy. It's a growth state. We're growing out the ground, we're growing out the mud and we're gonna become beautiful blossom people. This is where we start at. And so I'm gonna let Carrie introduce herself real quick and I tap back in so he can go do his food, breathing exercises. <laughs> Peace and love, family. This is basically, our, our mission here is to provide a foundation. You know, all the things that he was speaking about, reconnecting with nature, reconnecting with health, reconnecting with self, all of these things are one and the same. So that's what our mission is here, you know, to provide a foundation so that you'll have somewhere to come to where you can plant your feet in the soil, you know, you can eat fruit from the trees, you can bathe in the river, you can get back to being your human self. And that's the whole purpose and, and, and vision of this, you know. Uh, it's, there's a lot of different facets of, of healing, you know, and one of the most important ones is environment. You know, the internal environment is just as important as the external environment. So what you're putting in your body is just as important as where, where you put your body in. So, you know, with these things, this is the whole foundation and purpose of what we're doing here. You know, just come, this is a collective of consciousness coming together to elevate the consciousness. And so with that being said, I'm going to get a moon back. Yeah, and I just want just just let them know some of the amenities, some of the things here, the fruit trees. How many fruit trees we got here? Oh, we got hundreds. We got diff hundreds, hundreds of different fruit trees. We got over 50 uh, sour sops. We got six different varieties of mango, a few different varieties of uh, avocado, a lot of different fruits you guys probably haven't heard about. All, all of it's tropical. Everything that grows here pretty much is food, you know, edible. We got, you know, medicine coming up out of the ground, you know, fruit coming from the trees, you know, we have geothermal water flowing through the middle of the village. Exactly. Geothermal water that's heated by the volcanic activity that's up on the ground. Mm -hmm. Sulfur activity in the water. I mean, it's highly, highly, hi highly oxygenated, highly electromagnetic. We also have a pool that's chemical free. We clean it every day. We flood it with the river water and we have a river pool. I, sh I sent pictures of that yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right now, we only allowing up to, we had, we had about 16 or 19 people, we line up about 27 to stay here. To stay, if you want to come live and stay here and build here, we only allowing about 27 people. And then we're going to expand from here outwards for other people to want to come out. There's plenty of other places um, right now that are available that are real, real close and real, real cheap. And you'll be right here by the land. And so, um, and then he has, we, we're going to be expanding more, um, expanding more with the land. Um, we're also going to put up a link for those who want to support expanding and um, making the village a more beautiful place for people who want to come and heal as a retreat. This is also I'll also tell them about the, uh, the healing retreat part of it is that uh, you're going to be able to come. If you don't want to come live here, come stay here. This is also a healing, healing retreat where this is one of the conveners over here. Uh, I think you how many conveners we had on the land? In, t in total, we have 10. And, you know, you come, you come to the cabanas, you know, you can detox, cleanse, reconnect. 
reestablish yourself and also get a taste of what we're doing here. That way you can kind of have an idea of if this is something, a lifestyle that you want to embark upon. What we got going on in November with the uh, retreat, community retreat? Yeah, we got a community service retreat coming up in November where we're going to go out and clean the beaches. You know, we're going to clean the jungles and, and just teach, the, you know, just teach the, uh, the local people more about the, you know, the beautiful environment that they have and how to take care of it better. Facts. We're about a 10-minute walk away from the beach, including everything that's already here on this 14-acre land, hundreds of fruit trees, ge geothermal water, a uh, 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 river pool, uh, 14 acres of land for you to go live in harmony, do your yoga, for you to stretch. Then we got the jungles. We got plenty of places you can go. You got the beach 10 minutes away. The uh, the stores are like 10 minutes away. It's a uh, $2 bus ride to go to Walmart. It's a Walmart out here if you're worried about Walmart and other things you might need. There's a uh, small mall out here. There's a bank out here where you can exchange your money. It's plenty of ways. There's no excuses, people. There's no excuses, family. And so now I'm going to get to my moon mode, and we're going to get to showing y'all how to be human and how to live in harmony. So I just wanted y'all to see the brother Kerry, who I'm here staying with. This is home for me, family. I ain't going nowhere. I'm on 14 acres of land. We got plenty of fruit trees. Uh, we got a bunny. If you, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the environment real quick. Uh, we're gonna flip this around. What's the name of this mountain right here? That's in El Nombre de Dios, in the name of God, this whole mountain range right here. Say it again, what's the name of the mountain? In El Nombre de Dios, in the name of God. This mountain is called in the name of God out here. That's what we call this mountain out right here. You can see it. You might even can't see it because there's so many. It's so many abundant trees. You can't even see them. You can't even see the mountain. You can't. It's, it's so many trees. It's so much oxygen. It's so much life. You can't even see the mountain from right here. You can if I walk out. If I walk out a little bit. And um. And so right now I'm just gonna let y'all tune in to what we do in the mornings. As far as we, if you come as a if you come as a retreater, you know in the morning we do like breath exercises. And I'm gonna um, whisper real quick just so y'all can go in and see. And I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna come back in. So they are doing breathing exercises. So we want to be quiet right now. This is the man Shinji. Say hi. Oh, she's shy. Don't be shy. Don't run. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of walking around real quick before I start talking like that. So this is like like the uh, this is like the area where everybody get together. This is like the little main little hut area right here. Then you got your tents, your cabanas. We have an option to stay in the cabanas if we want. When there's no retreaters here, we can stay in the cabanas. When retreaters come, we move out the cabanas and live in our t and sleep in our tents just so we can give it up to the retreaters who are actually paying to stay here and come heal. So right now I'm in the cabana, but if somebody uh, if, if enough people come, they want to come retreat. We'll come out the bombers and we'll uh, we'll come out the cabanas and we'll live in the tents. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna go find out how far I can. Uh, I find out how far I can go stretch out here in a minute and show y'all more of the environment. I sent some pictures yesterday, and um, it's time. We, like I said, it's time we get in tune. It's time we live in harmony. Anybody that want to support what we're doing and help uh, make the beautiful uh, village a more beautiful place, a more healing place, a more resonant place, so that when y'all come, this is this is y'all home. This is y'all place to come here. This is y'all place to come retreat. And clear your minds, become, get more in tune with yourself, have more emotional peace, get a stronger body, get more mental clarity so you can express this to the world. And so this is what this place is about. And so you're building this for us. We're building this as a people. Anybody that want to be able to come heal, any of your family that want to be able to come heal, you will be nourishing them. You will be nourishing a place for them. This is what this is about. This is what we stand for. This is what everybody here stands for. <coughs> Let's see, y'all give me one minute. I just want to see how far we can tap out real quick. Love, y'all. It's been a beautiful journey, man. Everybody that's been supporting me, anybody that's been supporting the Moon Riot, this is what it's been for. I told y'all I was going to do this. I told y'all. I told y'all I was submitted. I told you it was going to happen. All I had to do was stay submitted. And so now the messenger is here. We're going to get the village. That's what they've been waiting on me to get here to put the message out, to put the information out, and go ahead and attract the tribe, go ahead and attract the ones that's ready to heal and live in harmony with the earth. It's plenty, it's, it's plenty of room here. 
And then it's, I mean, it's places like, I mean, it's places like five minute, a five minute walk, a hundred dollars a month just to stay there, two hundred dollars a month. I mean, so it's plenty, it's plenty, it's plenty of options to be here. Fruit is abundant. Fruit is cheap. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's all love. Your first purpose is to be human. Your first purpose is to live in harmony with your environment. Everybody want to make plans. Everybody want to make excuses. But what is your first purpose? Everybody was like, well, why we, everybody want to save money. How much money does the black population need as a whole? And I'm going to have, I'm, I'm going to go in deeper about this. I'm just not trying to go too deep into it right now. But how much money does the black people need as a whole? We all trying to take money out of each other's pocket. How many black people got millions of dollars? How many black people got hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars? We out here trying to earn money from each other. How much money does a black population need to live in harmony with life, to be healthy, to be nourished, to be vitalized and be able to communicate that to the rest of the world? How much money do we need? The problem is that you want to move by yourself. You don't want to build on the land. You want your own land. You want to come buy somebody's land. You don't want to come expand land. You don't want to come live in harmony with your people. You want to take from your people. You want to take the earth. That's the problem. We're not building together. We have enough money as black people. You don't have enough money by yourself. And we will never have enough money by ourselves. And that's the fucking problem. You will never have enough money by yourself. That's not possible. We don't, that's not moving together. Nobody is moving in harmony with nature. Everybody is not making moves because everybody won't make plans. The first plan is to be human. The first plan is to be healthy. The first plan is to live in harmony with nature. The, the first plan is to be a healthy asset of consciousness, to be a healthy asset of life and express that to self, other, and all life around. If you cannot be human, you have failed. Health equals consciousness, family. Right now, you are a living body of consciousness. That's a fact. So if you are a living body of consciousness, then you are the health or disease of human consciousness, and that is a fact. If you are a living body of consciousness, then you are the harmony or chaos of human consciousness. If you are a living body of consciousness, then you are the peace of war of human consciousness. You are the creation or the destruction of human consciousness. And this is the truth. So each being walking around is either a living parasite or it's the immune system and the healthy cell of earth that is living in harmony and transforming, growing, nourishing self, other, and all life around. This is the purpose of all life. Just look. Look at the sun. Look at the moon. Look at the rain. Look at the earth. Look at the breath of life that we exchange with every being on the planet. We exchange this breath with all the animals, with all the trees, with the galaxies around us, with the stars, with the planets. This one breath is being exchanged through all of us, nourishing all of life and an eternal spiral of growth. Even decay is decomposition into more life. Life is the only thing that exists, so you're not going to get out of this. You're going to serve your purpose as a human. It's just, are you going to do it now? Or next lifetime. You are made of raw organic natural self-organized atoms, which are made of which make up raw organic DNA, which then make raw organic tissues, which then make raw organic organs, which then make raw organic organisms from humans to insects to bees to uh, to insects, bees, animals. No matter what you name as a living organism, it goes through this same process. So each organism on this planet is a living body of consciousness. That tree is a living body of consciousness. This tree is a living body of consciousness. This grass is a living body of consciousness. The, the planet is a living body of consciousness. So you're not the only being creating consciousness here. It's very selfish. Very, I was like, who just called me what I'm doing? Don't call me what I'm doing alive. That's the wrong time to call. But we have to understand that there's a structure for life that must be followed or you will fall apart right now. Each cell, each atom, each tissue, each organ must be self-intelligent, must be self-organized, and it's holding you together right now or you will fall apart. So the breath is standing for you. Life is standing for you. The earth stands for you. The sun stands for you. The breath stands for you. The water that runs through your blood stands for you or you will fall apart right now, but you refuse to stand for life. You refuse to be human. But all the forces that make you human are standing for you. They exist to protect you. Right now, you make 25 million new cells a second right now, and you can't stop it. The body is standing up for you strong, even when you disrespect it, even when you disrespect life. 
You're still nourished by the breath. Earth still grows food for you to eat. It still provides rain for you to receive nourishment, liquid nourishment, hydration. The sun still shines so you can receive its electromagnetic waves of energy that activate your consciousness. It's time we get in tune with life, family. It's time we become human. It's time we restore our human divinity. And that's what it's about here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to restore our human expression of life, living in harmony with nature versus destroying everything in nature. Right now, we have become human parasites. And we're going to break that down in a second. So let me show you all some more of the environment. Right now, you have become a human parasite. This is your natural environment. This is what you're supposed to wake up and see every day. Nothing but green, but instead you see nothing but gray buildings and concrete. The grass that you see right now is trying to break the Go outside. The grass is trying to break the concrete apart, showing you that life does not like what you're doing. The sun is not trying to nourish cars, buildings, and clothes. It's trying to nourish skin, grass, hair, and trees. The same with the rain. The same with the earth. The same with the breath of life. It can do nothing with nothing artificial. So this is where we're at right now. We're in harmony. Each tree providing oxygen to all of our lungs abundantly at the highest levels possible. No GMOs. No chemicals. Pure life. Pure self-organized, self-intelligent life. Health equals consciousness. Meaning that if any cell... I hope everybody's listening. If any cell, if any tissue, if any atom, if any organ within your organism fails at health, it fails at life, it fails your family, it fails God, it fails consciousness. Period. Health equals consciousness. And it's not just true for the human. If any tree fails at health, it fails at life. If any, if any insect, if any planet, if any star, if any galaxy, if any form of, if any body of consciousness fails at health, it so too fails at life. Health is the first purpose of life. It's the first, look at your own body. The first purpose of every cell, every atom, every tissue, every organ in your body is health. And the higher level of health within that body, the stronger the body, the more emotional peace, the more mental clarity. So you can communicate a high vibrational consciousness through that being. For you to be high vibrational, to be a high vibrational being of consciousness, you must have as less resistance in the body as possible. You must have a less toxicity in the body as possible. This is why we fast. This is why we cleanse, cleanse our body. This is why we live in harmony with our biological nature. Any disrespect from your biological nature will bring disease. Be it food or your environment. So food is energy, so meaning anything you see, anything you smell, Anything you hear, anything you put in your mouth, anything you touch, everything you, anything you involve with is straight energy. It's straight pure consciousness. Okay? So when you're consuming artificial consciousness, artificial food, you have now disrupted an organic blueprint. When you see it, when you smell it, when you hear it, so this is people, well, it's not just food. Well, when you say food is energy, it is just food because everything is food. Your environment is food. Work is food. The music you listen to is food. The friends you hang around is food. The places you go are food. And this food will bring health or disease to your overall body of consciousness called the human organism. Now, the way life, the way God, the way creation has arranged it, and naturally you will see beautiful butterflies. You will see the trees behind me. You will have geothermal waters. You will have river pools. You have beaches to go to. You have mountains to climb. And you have abundant fruit everywhere. This is what you would normally hear, see, smell, taste on a daily basis, which would bring you to the highest state of human consciousness, which would bring you to the highest state of health and nature. But when you're in an environment that is full of concrete, no trees, no food going around, you can't walk down the street and there's not one fruit tree growing down the street. But your food is fruit. That's insane. You can't walk down the street and pick a fruit when your food is fruit. You're in, you in the wrong environment. People think you at home. You think you own property. If you own land, go outside right now, stand naked, and don't get arrested. And nobody can't say nothing to you if that's your property. If you can't do that, you're not home. If you can't go outside naked and lay down in the grass, you're not home. You own somebody's property. You think you home. 
Go check your go check your mailbox naked since you home. Can't do that, huh? Exactly. Because you're not home. I can walk on the beach naked here. Naked. I can go jump in the river naked here. In my natural clothes. I can be natural here. I can be human here. If you are in an environment, if you are in a place that won't allow you and your family to be human, you on a path of failure, I guarantee you. This is why we're failing as human consciousness. It's because we're nourishing the parasites inside and the parasites outside of our bodies. Meaning that anybody consuming dead meat, dead flesh, artificial animal foods, anything artificial to the human body, you don't love yourself, you don't know yourself, and you're not doing what it takes to be human. You're not doing what it takes to be a healthy asset of life. Come here. This guy is. Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Just want to put it in. She was over there doing a little breath exercise for a minute. But we have to understand what food is, what energy is, and why this food is hurting us, and how it's hurting you. So first, let me break this down to you. Everybody's looking for aliens on the outside of themselves. I'm going to show you them too. But first, let me show you the aliens on the inside of yourself. If I am a higher form of consciousness and I want to come take over a world, right? I don't want to destroy the world. I want to come take over the, the human, the highest consciousness there, such as the human consciousness. Do I send the biggest beast to come down here and bully the human race? Or do I send a tiny little parasite that will go inside the body, release chemicals, which will hijack the host and make the host nourish the mind, mood, and behavior, the thought, emotions, and actions of the parasite and starve the self? Which one is more intelligent? Oh, that's what's happening. You've been hijacked. You think you in love with me. You think you in love with dead food. How can a living body love dead food? How can a living mind, how can living consciousness, how can a living body of human consciousness, how can a organic divine blueprint, how could living energy want love and willingly consume dead food every day? That's not you. You're nourishing the parasites inside your body. You're nourishing the mind, mood, and behavior, the thoughts, emotions, and actions of the parasites on the inside of your body. A parasite releases chemicals that make you nourish the parasite and starve yourself. So this is why all of our people are sick. You got anemic, you, you're anemic, you're diabetic, you got high cholesterol, you got high blood pressure, you got asthma, because you're malnourishing your family, you're malnourishing yourself, and feeding the parasites that are inside your body. They release the chemicals that make you, that control your brain. You've been hijacked and don't even know it. This is an alien. When you was born, everything was an alien. Do you know that when you came out the womb, every animal, every plant, every insect was alien to you, foreign to your organism? An alien is something foreign to your human consciousness, something foreign to your body. So just like you nourish that parasite on the inside of yourself, as above, so below, you also nourish the parasite on the outside of yourself called Babylon, mental ignorance, destruction, and disease. Meaning that you cannot destroy this system. Who is in control of mental oppression? Point to the one person. Who is in control of disease? Point to the one person. You are creating it as a collective human consciousness. You can't point to the one head of the snake because the head of the snake is human consciousness itself. You are creating a fear-based reality. You're creating a disease-based reality. A fear-based, a disease-based, a destruction, a chaotic reality as human consciousness. You are creating the leaders. Even if you destroy a leader, you're going to create another one. Because you're nourishing the parasite. Just like you starve your own body while nourishing the parasites inside yourself, on the outside of yourself, you starve your mental consciousness, you starve your families, you starve, you, 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 you starve yourself of your human divinity while nourishing the parasite called Babylon. You nourish destruction. You nourish this concrete jungle. This concrete, concrete jungle. You nourish these corporations. You nourish the mental oppression of human consciousness 
daily as a human collective consciousness. You are creating these leaders. So how do we get rid of parasites? I'm going to show you how to get rid of Bab Babylon. You get rid of Babylon the same way you get rid of parasites. You get rid of mental oppression the same way you get rid of parasites. You starve it. You fast from it. You remove yourself from the environment. This is why we fast on the inside of ourselves. When you fast, you starve the parasites. They can't get any. They can't get any sustenance. They can't get any food. So if you know that you're being controlled by the thoughts of the parasite, if you know you've been hijacked, don't eat anything. Now you know you starve the parasite. The body gonna get oxygen. The body gonna get sunlight. The body gonna get water from rain. The body gonna get pure earth minerals if you just not consume food and you starve the parasites on the inside of yourself. And this is why everybody that cleanses says they has new th new thoughts. Their thoughts are more in harmony. They have more joy. They have more energy because you've been giving all your energy to the parasites on the inside of yourself. And then on the outside of yourself, you've been giving all your energy to these jobs, all your energy to these corporations, and you and you slave just to live day by day and pay a million dollars for your foods, million dollars for your home, weekly, daily as a people. When food grow free, when there's free homes, this beach out here be open all day. And you can come sleep on it and nobody will come tell you, come rest you, come write you a ticket, come you can't stay here. Ain't none of that. If I don't want to stay on that, I can go to the beach and put my tent up and sleep any night I want. And nobody will come disturb me. It's time we get in harmony with life. You want to get rid of the system of mental oppression. You want to get rid of disease. You want to get rid of illness. You want to get rid of this system. Starve it to death. Return to the tropical homes. You cannot kill this by war. You're creating it. Even if you go and find every person that you think is behind the destruction of the world today, you won't create them again with your own mind. As a people, you're creating it as a collective consciousness. You are creating the diseases and the parasites of the world by not being human, by not living in harmony with nature. Everybody want to make an excuse not to live in harmony, not to come to the tropics. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to life. Life's standing for you every day until you get it right. You may get sick. You may get a disease, but it's giving you a chance. A disease is a warning from nature. These hurricanes and tornadoes are warnings from nature. Get in tune. Nature is a living being. One living country is the planet is a living being. She's detoxing and the sickest, the sickest people going first. The sickest areas will be destroyed first. Three hurricanes in almost what? Two, two months? One, what, what, was it one month? Nature is detoxing because you refuse to be human. Remember that nature can survive without the human, but the human cannot survive without nature. So for nature, it's easier to detox the human race than to detox the whole planet. The whole planet ain't going to go. The human race will go before the planet go. Know that. So get in tune. I'm in uh, Honduras, family. Mango Tree, Honduras, Holistic Village. It's time we get in tune with life. Nature is all there is. You cannot describe God without describing nature. Do it. Any God that is known was known in and, that's, and through nature, past, present, or future. Period. Any word that you use, you're going to describe nature. In the beginning was the word, name words that exist without breath. The breath of life, the inhale and exhale of creation. If the breath leaves any organism on this planet, so too does life. You are the breath of life, and you exchange this breath with every tree, with every plant. Breath is really the only food. Let me show you. You inhale oxygen. You're made of what? 65% oxygen, right? So you inhale oxygen. You come back out with carbon dioxide. You get thirsty. What is water? Hydrogen and oxygen. Again, the breath. What is food? Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. Again, the breath. Solid food, liquid food, and gas food are all the breath. You can't cook consciousness. When you cook food, breath leaves. Period. When you remove the blood, breath leaves. So when you suffocate the animal, when you remove the blood from the animal, now you're, anem you're anemic because you remove the blood. So you remove the blood from yourself. Whatever you do to nature, you do to yourself. Nature is you. So when you cook the food, you're cooking yourself. When you remove the oxygen from an animal, you're removing the oxygen from yourself. 
Everything in nature is on a raw energy, a raw frequency, a raw consciousness diet. And everything in nature is a body of consciousness that, is, that, that has a symbiotic relationship with something else in nature. And they live together as a mutualism symbolically to transform each other. The bee and the flower. We can see the symbolic relationship between the body of consciousness called the bee and the body of consciousness called the flower. They have a symbolic relationship. The bee get nourishment from the flower and the flower gets its pollen spread by the bee. Circle complete. You see, nature is here to nourish all organisms here, and all organisms here are here to nourish nature and an eternal spiral of growth of consciousness, meaning that you will get a new body of consciousness. It will evolve without beginning and without end. We are here for evolution, transformation of consciousness, transformation of the breath without beginning and without end. The sun is on a raw energy, a raw frequency diet. The moon is on a raw energy, a raw frequency, a raw consciousness diet. The trees are on a raw energy, a raw consciousness, a raw energy diet. The plants, the insects, 6.7 billion species on the planet are on a raw energy, a raw consciousness, a raw frequency diet, and they live in harmony with their biological, with a biological nature. To live in harmony with your biological nature is to live in harmony with your consciousness. Remember that you are a body of consciousness. So your genetics and your biological nature is your nature of consciousness. So if you are out of harmony with your food, then you're out of harmony with your human consciousness. How disrespectful is it for you to give your baby the milk of another animal? A cow, let's go to a cow. A cow is a body of consciousness called the cow. So the milk of a cow was designed to nourish the consciousness of a cow, the journey of a cow, the soul of a cow, the emotions of a cow, the mind, mood, and behaviors of a cow, the thoughts, emotions, and actions of a cow. This is what the consciousness of cow milk or lion milk or dog milk or any other milk is to nourish the consciousness of that species, of that organism. So when you fill your breast with silicone and starve your child and give them cow milk, what is that? You're going to starve your child of life. You're going to starve your child of human consciousness. You're going to starve your child of human DNA for silicone, just so you can look good, just to be used by the man that you're doing it for. Because he don't love you, and you don't love yourself. That's not love. Do you know how bad that is? For you to not nourish your child from your own breast, from your own womb, from the breast to be sick, for the breast to be toxic. We got toxic wombs and toxic breasts, and we wonder why our kids are malnourished. We wonder why we got diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. We must purify ourselves. We must return home. To be disconnected from nature is to be disconnected from all life. You have been divorced from nature. You have been stolen from home. You don't even know your species. Everybody walking around saying vegan, I use it because I understand that it's a part of the human awakening. The word vegan is not a species. What is your species as a human? You are a, frug you are a frugivorous animal. You are a frugivore, which does not mean you only eat fruit. A frugivore means that you choose fruit over any other food. So that means you choose tomatoes, zucchinis, apples, mangoes, you choose fruits, nuts, and seeds over any other food on the planet, and these are the best food that are assimilated and absorbed by your body to give you the highest possible uh, potential of health, for optimal health, for a clarity of thought, for emotional peace, and for a strong body. Your body of consciousness was designed as a frugivore, which exchanged Information with a tree. We are tree, we are tree dwellers, which means you have a symbolic relationship with a tree. You have a mutual, you have a mutual agreement with trees. This is why when you eat fruit, the seeds do not digest. You have agreed with the body of consciousness called a tree that as you give me oxygen, I will give you back carbon monoxide. So right now, you and the tree are breathing together. We breathe together with the trees. Then the tree says. I'm going to grow a fruit for you to enhance your consciousness, to give you a stronger body. Earth grows. Earth is a living library who grows things so we can understand the creation in, in greater detail so that our DNA can read the information and we can awaken from our internal world and express it outwards. 
Earth is a living library of information, of energy, of atoms, of cells, of minerals, of, vital, uh, of vitalizing nourishment, of health. And this is what awakens, this is what awakens our body to its highest potential, to its highest forms of consciousness. We have 60 million activated codes of DNA. We have over 3 billion still asleep. And you ready to leave. Do you know how long it took to create this version of the human? It's been an eternity. It's been infinite. It took infinity to create this version of the moon. I've always been here, but it took eternity to create this version. This is my peak self, and I grow every day. I'm not the same person when I finish this conversation because my body has made 25 million new cells. It's time we learn about ourselves, and that's what we do here. Here we're going to learn about ourselves. Here we're going to be human. Here we're going to live in harmony with nature. Here we're going to nourish the kids. It's kids here. Don't work. It's kids here. It's family here. We're doing this right. It's already here. It's already set. The land is already here. Now it's time to send. Now it's time to support. We're going to put up the uh, GoFundMe to then. Everybody can just start sending things to the PayPal, whatever y'all send. I'll begin with Carrie, and we'll be, um, we'll be exchanging that. It just helps with the food and building here, making the convenience more beautiful, making the geothermal pool more beautiful, adding things to the village so that when people come here and they want to heal, that they have things to do. We're working on classes and everything like that. So anybody want to come support, anybody want to come hands-on and want to come help, if you have, if you're a yoga instructor, if you're an alkaline chef if you got something to offer to the village and you know you want to come live in harmony we waiting on you we waiting on you family this is what we're here for we're going to, this this healing village is going to be for all of us everybody can't stay on one land and we'll expand the land but the healing village is for anybody that's ready to come heal is for anybody so we support this as a people the black people as a population have enough money I got 5,000 followers and 5,000 friends. If everybody send $25, that's two and a half million dollars. Just $25, and that's just 10,000 black people. How many black people do we have? How much money do we need to live in harmony with nature? As a black population, we have enough money. By yourself, we will never have enough. As a black population, we got billions. How much do we need? It's time we wake up. Some more of the environment, y'all. It's not too, the, the Wi-Fi just works right here today. Anybody that want to send some energy today, that, that, that'll help. Because I want to go get, uh, I'm going to get this phone service out here. It's like $30 a month for unlimited Facebook. And um, to be able to use, I can go live anywhere around here. So I'm going to try to go get that from the mall today where I can get unlimited Facebook talk and text. So I'll be able to communicate, do consultations and everything with you guys. Um, and I can go further out and show y'all more of the uh, land. Because like I said, I can't go too far outside of right here because of uh, the Wi-Fi. What's up, what's up? How we feeling? So these are ladies, these are kids, so we got kids here. What's up, man? How you feeling? Say hi. I just woke up. <laughs> got the little princess over there. Hey, 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 families. So, yeah, I'm live right now, family. It's the boy, Baba Kevin. Y'all can add Baba Kevin. Hey, Haru. Ascending Lotus. Ascending Lotus. Okay, everybody support every, every, all of us here has something everybody here is in two everybody here has something to offer um they, they, they are doing daycare and they are doing schooling with the kids every day we're doing homeschooling so anybody that's really good with homeschool our alkaline chef our yoga instructors all our people that have something that offer to the village our builders our technology people that's really good with technology um and, and we, we're, we're for real with this we, we completely submitted and we're ready to do this right so uh um, Everything is here, and everybody that's been supporting my journey the whole way, this is what it's been for. We're here. It's manifested. we home. This is my home. I bring love. I bring peace. I bring harmony. I bring balance. I bring truth. I bring the restoration of human consciousness. We must get in tune with natural life. You connect it to a matrix. Whether you want to be or not, you cannot disconnect from life. The only choice being made, whether you're connected to the artificial or the natural matrix, whether, you, whether you're serving death, disease, decay, destruction to self, love, self other than all life around, or you're, self, or you're serving health, nourishment, growth, vitality, life to self other and all life around. You are the God or devil of human consciousness. 
try to say it in a way that people can understand it. See, if I just say God or devil, they're going to be like, no, I'm not God. You are the God or devil of human consciousness. You are the health or disease of human consciousness. You are the creation or destruction of human consciousness. The angel or demons of human consciousness. Growth or decay of human consciousness. These are the only two options you have. Your free will is limited to the yin-yang symbol, to negative or positive, growth or decay, growth or decay, health or disease, harmony or chaos, peace or war. Your free will is limited to those two things because you cannot disconnect from life. And if you think you're not supposed to do nothing, stand still. I want you to lay on the ground for 30 days and you will get a disease. You are supposed to move and serve nature, period. And even if you stand still, you will get sick. If you stand still long enough and do not move, you will get sick. Showing you that you're post, that nature needs your service, that life requires your service. Na life requires you to exchange your breath with these trees. You communicate with life and you can't stop it. With every breath affects the whole organism. Every breath affects everything around you and you can't stop it. So you are in a constant communication with these trees and nature, whether you want to be or not. You are just being conscious or unconscious of it. You're choosing to willingly connect to the natural life or willingly to serve disease, destruction, and the artificial world. There's only two types of consciousness, artificial and a natural one. Right now you're feeding parasites and the artificial consciousness we call Babylon. Artificial technology, artificial systems that do not complement earth, that do not nourish life. Artificial foods that do not nourish life. Why is health so important? I didn't even want to go all the way into this, but, but since we still have viewers, I want to go over why health is so important besides nature. The number one cause of disease is, the number one cause of human death is heart disease, which is a 100% preventable with a vegan fruitarian diet, which is respecting your biological nature, respecting your human nature in the first place. The number two cause of disease, cancer. 500,000 years. So just with the first top two causes of these, so it's not war, it's not crime, it's not rape, it's not politics, it's not terrorists, it's not none of these things you think it is. The first top five causes of human death are all diseases that are reversed by respecting your biological nature in the first fucking place. Diseases that are reversed by living in harmony with your body and nature. And if you remove everything artificial, it's only the human race, the human consciousness, and nature showing you your first purpose is nature and to understand your body of consciousness and how it relates to the consciousness around you. Your first purpose is to be human, to be a body of human consciousness, and to know and understand how it relates to the biological nature, the bio biological consciousness that surrounds us all. If you cannot do that, you have failed. And we know this because no matter what, if we remove everything that man did not make, it's only you and nature showing you your first purpose is to understand your body and its relationship with the sun, your body and its relationship with the earth, your body and its relationship with the moon, your body and its relationship with the plants around you, your body and its relationship with the animals around you, your body and its relationship with the self-organized, self-intelligent consciousness that surrounds us all. This is your first purpose. If you can't do that, you will fail and your body shows you that with disease. You're failing. Nature is dismantling you. You call it a disease, it's not a disease, it's nature's warning sign. Nature will dismantle you if you refuse to obey your biological nature. If you refuse to be what nature has created you to be, nature will de decompose you. Nature will dismantle you. You will experience K. You will, you, you will experience decay. You will experience confusion. You will experience stress. Every day, anger, stress, confusion, loss, don't know why you're here, mad to be at work, mad to be with your family, mad to be breathing, because you don't know who you are. You are life itself at the highest expressions. Do you know how many elements of life came together to express as a human being? You're made of over trillions of cells. Over trillions of living, self-intelligent organisms keeping you and holding you together, allowing you to express and create artistically, musically, and create whatever you want to in life. 
We just want to create in a way where it does not destroy self, other, and all life around. We want to create in a way that lives in harmony with nature, where we build structures that are biodegradable. Well, we don't cut down all the trees we need to breathe, and we don't, and we plant plenty of fruit, so there's always food. You see, human consciousness does not mean you're over nature. It means you have the highest consciousness here. That's it. You're not over nature. You don't have where else you gonna go? Tell, you don't have nowhere else to go right now. What planet are you gonna go to and live? Where are you gonna go to and receive sunlight, clouds, and water, and rain, and, and fruit? Name another planet you gonna go to and receive that. You don't know. You're not over nature. You are nature, and you have the highest consciousness in nature. So the human having the highest consciousness in nature, all that means is you have the ability to bring the highest form of destruction, decay, disease, malnourishment, or you can bring the highest conscious form of nourishment, growth, vitality to self, other, and all life around. Transformation, for, transformation for, of consciousness uh, for the better, a transformation of consciousness for the worse, for self, other, and all life around. This is the power you are granted as human consciousness. You have the highest consciousness here, so you can give the highest broadcast. You're able to speak. The trees are connected to the ground. They can't move. You're able to take your limbs and your extremities and move around the earth when other organisms, they have to sit still. You have the uh, highest consciousness here. We're able to create planes and boats. And we're able to speak and build. This is the difference between your consciousness and a tree and an insect and a lion and a dog is that everything is a body of consciousness. You just happen to have the highest consciousness here. You happen to have the most DNA. Your DNA contains the DNA of every single organism on the planet, including 250 unknown genes. Do you know that in the womb, you go through the you go through the process of every single organism here, plant, insect, and animal. In the womb, when you're being created as a baby, you symbolize every single organism on the planet as you're created until you finally form a human organism. You are the planet. You are the animals. You are the insects. You are all of them have expressed into one body. Every animal, every insect, every plant, everything on the planet has came together and expressed as a human being. You are the lion. You are the wolf. You are the eagle. You are the elephant. You are the ants. You are the bees. You are the butterflies. You are the clouds. You are the moon. You are the sun. You are the solar system. You are the multidimensional body that you're looking for. Everybody want to go to a everybody want to go to different dimensions not realizing that you are a multidimensional being. You go into the, within the dimensions of yourself. This is the dream world. You got your eyes open right now. You're dreaming right now. I'm on the inside of you. When you close your eyes, you go into the internal world, your limitless world, your God self. People hate to meditate. They're scared to go on the inside. You are a multidimensional being, so when you go on the inside, you're going to see those par parasites. You're going to see those fears. You're going to see the, those worries. You're going to see those diseases, and you must clean them out. I don't see any of that. You got people that, they be like, well, what about the cat people and the dog people and the aliens? You see these things because you go into the inner dimensions of these organs. You go into the, the dimensions within yourselves, and you see this toxicity. You ate a chicken that is scared of cats, so now you're dreaming about cat people. You see? You ate an animal that's being hunted by dog people to them, to a chicken, to a cat. That, that's wolf people. That's dog people. You see what I'm saying? So when you eat an animal, you're getting their consciousness. You're getting their fears. You're getting their worries. So when you eat a chicken, when you eat a cow, when you eat a fish, you're going to dream about sharks or being ate by something because they fear being ate by something. They fear being consumed by a negative energy. So you see these demons in your dreams. That you don't understand, like, why this demon try to get me? Who is this image? Who is this shadow? Who is this animal trying to eat me? Who is this attacker? It's you! From the inside. It's your parasite you feeding while starving yourself. This is why you see these aliens. This is why you go into the dimensions within yourself and see these beings. Because you are a multidimensional being. You're made upon layer, upon layer, upon layer of frequency, energy, and vibration. The skin is consciousness. The cells are consciousness. The organ is our consciousness. The bone is consciousness. You're made upon layer, upon layer, upon layer, upon layer of energy, frequency, and vibrations that you can tap into. You can tap into the heart chakra, the heart source of energy, the heart organ. 
This is the, a dimension of yourself. You can tap into the solar plexus. You, you can tap into your root chakra. You can tap into your child crown chakra. These are the different dimensions in your multidimensional body. Stop looking for dimensions outside of yourself. You are the multidimensional being that you're looking for. What do you want to go? What do you want to be? This is the best version. Everybody's watching us. If you're talking about beings in other galaxies, they've already mastered themselves. We, we, at 50%, we are better than the whole universe. And that's why they're watching us. That's why they're studying your DNA. That's why they create these foods. Babylon don't need you to make money. They need your DNA. Everything they do is to manipulate your DNA. They make the money. They make the corporations. They make the technology. They make the rockets. They make the weapons. They don't need you for that. They need to control your human consciousness. They need to control your evolution. They need to control your connection with nature. They need to control your DNA. They need to keep it asleep. They know you got three billion unactivated codes of DNA, and look what you're doing now. They like, if these people doing this shit, they diseased and chaotic, they still building shit, they still stronger, they still, what the fuck we gonna do? They can't even stop you and you sick. We motherfucking sick and they can't stop us. They scared and we diseased. Do you see who you are? A million of us are dying every year, and they still scared. They still fear our consciousness. Wake up. They kill us daily and still fear us. They arrest us daily and still fear us. They, they have, we have an abortion daily, and they still fear us. When we wake up, they planning to keep us down because we're so powerful. Because they know who you are and you don't. And they fear it. They see it happening all over the world. They see you waking up. They see what time it is. It's an awakening. They, everybody saw the eclipse. They knew what it meant. It's time we get in tune. It's time we live life. It's time we live in harmony with each other. It's time we support each other. We have enough money as black people. We have enough land as black people. We have all that we need as the black population if we just come to fucking gather. That's all we need. We need each other. I never have stood for a moon. I never have only stood for my family. My baby mother don't understand. I got a son in Georgia. She's sick, disease, and served chaos. She don't understand. I got family in Georgia. But this is bigger than my family. This is bigger than the moon. This is bigger than human consciousness. This is life consciousness. This is the sun you're talking to. You're talking to the earth right now. You're talking to water. You're talking to air. You're talking to sun. You're talking to all the elements of life that hold my body together and keep me existing. That allow me to express this healthy human consciousness. I'm sweating right now. The sun is barely out because the sun is on the inside of me. Look at me. I'm sweating all over. It's not, ain't nobody else sweating. The sun is on the inside. So much energy, so much vibration, so much frequency is coming that I'm burning up on the inside to get this out. I've been waiting to get good Wi-Fi. I am the messenger. My mama said I was prophesied as a baby to be a messiah. The messenger. The messenger of light. There are many talents, there are many abilities, but the messenger was the one that always came and delivered human consciousness, delivered the resurrection, delivered the rebirth, del delivered the restoration. There are warriors, there are builders, there are artists, but there was the messenger that came to restore the world. I am the message, I am the light, I am the living word. I fully accept my responsibility. I will speak against it. I will speak life. I will speak nourishment. I will speak growth. I will speak vitality. I will speak transformation of consciousness for self, other, and all life around. Human consciousness, plant consciousness, because if we do not get involved with the trees, our consciousness does not exist. We receive oxygen from the trees. So we must have a symbiotic relationship with those. It's time we get completely in tune with self, completely in tune with life. You must, if you're studying something, you should be studying your body. Study your human organism and its relationship to life. 
where you belong, how to live in harmony. This is what we're here for. Transformation. We got unactivated DNA. It's plenty of chances for us to grow a wing or grow gills or whatever our next transformation is. The DNA will express once you have consumed enough raw energy and frequency and vibration, self-conscious energy, information from the earth. The earth grows, the earth is a living library of information which grows things for the transformation of all organisms here. It helps you understand the creation in greater detail. Do you know a fruit is an eternal arrangement? Do you know that a fruit is an eternal arrangement? Let me show you the power of fruit. You are frugivore. You was given the most divine food on the planet and don't even know it. The fruit is the highest form of consciousness on the planet. Let me show it to you. Let's go. Uh, shit, I don't think I got no fruit trees around to show it to you, but I think what I'm going to do is give you an example. So here's a tree. You see this? This is a tree. The tree's root, deeply connected into the earth. Okay, so right now, every brain, every heart, every mineral, every insect, anything that has ever decomposed has became the earth. All right? So we have the consciousness of the earth, and it's also consuming water from underground. So we have water consciousness, and we have earth consciousness, the knowledge from below. And then we have the leaves. As you see these leaves in the background of the sun, the sun is now giving its rays, its consciousness to the leaves. The leaves taking sunlight along with our breath to create food. So now we have the knowledge from above. So we have the knowledge from above, and then we have the knowledge from below. They come together, and they create a fruit, which is complete information to your human organism. Let me see if I can flip it back around. What happened? It's acting up on y'all. Give me one second. Probably could. One second, y'all. Give me one second, family. Come on, man. What's up? All right, it's not letting me flip it back around, but a fruit is an eternal arrangement, meaning that a fruit contains the entire blueprint of the tree. Let me see if I can. Okay, there we go. So a fruit is an eternal arrangement. Hey, somebody hand me a, uh, give me one second, y'all. It's been love. I'm glad for everybody that's standing here listening. Ba somebody give me one of them star fruits. All right, let me see if I can run up here real quick and get back. Hold on. Plenty of fruit, y'all. All right. So we're going to use a fruit for this little demo. All right, so right here, what we have is a star fruit. Let me show you the eternal arrangement of the fruit. So remember that the fruit is the end product of the self-intelligent, self-organized tree. So it's complete. This is the final stage. So a fruit tree, the whole purpose, the whole journey of a fruit tree was to produce this. So it's the end product. Okay? So now. Those are seeds. Okay? So. The fruit contains the entire blueprint of the tree. Okay? So that's the past. So each fruit Pay attention. Each fruit contains the entire blueprint of the tree. So that's the past. I'm holding the fruit so it's present. The seeds are the future. You're looking at past, present, and future in one subject right now. This is eternity in your hand and don't even know it. The fruit of life. The tree of life. This is it. Fruit. It does not have a beginning or an end. The fruit is past, present, and future at the same time. Who told y'all that? Nobody. Because you can't find it in the book. It has to come through a healthy, conscious body. Again, fruit contains the blueprint of the entire tree. I'm holding it. So it's present to us today. It contains seeds that will plant the future. The fruit is past, present, and future at the same time. The eternal spiral of growth, the highest form of consciousness on the planet is fruit. This is why you are frugivore 
and you are human consciousness. As human consciousness, the most advanced species here and the species that are advancing now, the monkeys and the apes and the gorillas, all the fruit, fruit, giver, fruit giverous animals, those are the ones that are closer to advancing like the humans. Duh! I bring life. I bring truth. I bring nourishment. I bring growth. I bring vitality. I bring love. I bring human restoration. It's that time, family. We're waiting on you here. Honduras is home. We get, Phoenix got 90 acres. We got 14 acres here. That's over 100 acres already bought that people can come live and build. Come with your yoga teachings, with your, with your, with your alkaline chef, with your builders, with your technology. Come with everything that we need to live in a harmony and build and nature and live in harmony with our natural environment where our fruits are abundant, where the air is clean, where the water is clean, where we can transform and be healthy human organisms and have healthy wombs and healthy breasts and nourish healthy kids and nourish a healthy generation. These, we got kids here right now, they got three chromosomes. We got kids right now here that was, we got seeds, I like it. We got indigo children right now that are here with three chromosomes. Who ready to come help nourish them? They need us. It's time. This is the information age. It's time for you to get informed about life. It's time for you to get informed about nourishment, informed about the growth of human consciousness, informed about self, informed about all natural life, self, other, and all natural life around. It's time to get information with life. You've been taught your whole life to pledge to a flag. You've been taught to pledge to a book. How about you pledge to the sun? which stands for you every single day of your life. Pledge to the earth. Pledge an allegiance with life that has been standing for you since life, that has been standing for your family since life. Pledge an allegiance to human consciousness, to health, to vitality, to growth, to nourishment, for self, other, and all life around. This is the only allegiance you should be pledging. They got you pledging to a flag. It can't nourish you. It can't feed you. It can't give you oxygen. It can't give you sunlight. It can't feed your kids. It can't nourish the next generation. It does shit for you. It keeps you mentally oppressed. And you pledge to a fucking flag versus pleasant for life, versus pleasant for human consciousness, versus pleasant for health, growth, vitality, nourishment, transformation, versus pledging for a strong body, emotional peace, Mental clarity so we can communicate this human consciousness collectively as a people to all life around and restore the planet. The planet is not fifth dimensional because your ass ain't making it fifth dimensional. It requires you. It requires the human race. It requires human consciousness. That's why we have the highest consciousness here. Because the potential of the transformation of this planet depends on us. The transformation of this planet of the sun, of our universe, of our creation, depends on human consciousness because we have the highest consciousness here. Nobody would know for the last two weeks I was living in the car. Who would know that? Only certain people are inboxed and told that so they can support me and help me get up out of there. But my powers, are, I am so enlightened. I am so conscious. I am so healing that when I go to people's houses, they family detox. They get confident. They get in arguments with their family, and then it's uncomfortable for me to be there. So I was living in the car because families were going through divorces when I came around. They tried to go vegan, and then the wife might get confident, and she want to speak out on things, and now they're going through a divorce. You see, you're going to detox once you get rid of those parasites. You're going to get, once, you, once you start loving yourself completely, you got to remove the things from your life that were not really loving you. And that's what's going on. So everywhere I go... I detox families. I can't help it. They want to ask Amun, why are you so healthy? Why you do this? Why you meditate? I give the answers. They try it. They detox. Now they get in arguments with their family. You got to realize it's a cleansing. You got to cleanse out your toxic world. A cleanse is not something that's going to be easy. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be confusing because it must be swept out. It don't just disappear. You got to sweep it out. So as you sweep these toxins, this, this, this malnourishment, 
This devitalization, as you sweep these things out of your body, it will be swept on the outside of yourself. So the friends, families, the places that did not nourish you, they will be swept clean. And that's what happens when I come around. I was living in the car, going to a gym, 24-hour fitness, for the last two weeks. Y'all would never know from my, go to my page, you would never know from my post. My light don't stop. And I still ate every day. I bought $10 coconut waters every day. I was at zero every day. But nature made sure I got what I needed every day. I have never moved off my own. How you know a moon is real? Because I've never moved off my own abundance. I didn't get here on my own. I didn't start my journey on my own. I never had my own abundance to move off my own will. I moved off the abundance of human consciousness. I moved as the Messiah. I moved like Jesus. I moved like Buddha. I moved like all your saviors. I moved by trust in life. And life provided through equal reflections of life, through other human forms of consciousness that seen the journey, that seen the light, that seen the growth, that seen the nourishment I was given to self, other, and all life around. And I got where I needed to be, and now I'm here. I fully submitted myself, which allows consciousness to communicate through me at the highest level. I come with truth. I come with light. I come with vitality. I come with guidance. I come with balance. I come with a reconnection to your true consciousness, to your true self, to nature. To know nature is to know self. Her health is your health. You are her. You cannot detach. I can show you a fool. Anybody that can go somewhere and hide from nature is a fool. Anywhere they can go and hide from themselves is a fool. Because nature and self is all there is. And there is no way you can go and hide from life. There is no way you can go and hide from nature. And there is no way you can go and hide from yourself. This is a fact. The study of science is nature. The study of biology is nature. Nature. Right? Chemistry is the study of nature. Anatomy is the study of nature. Astrology is the study of nature. Numerology is the study of nature. Quantum physics is the study of nature. Name knowledge that exists outside of nature. You can't. All knowledge that exists, exists in and as nature, past, present, and future. All powers that exist. When you say, God, when you, say you fear God, you really saying you fear nature. Name something that God has done to you that nature has not. Name something that God has done to anybody not using the powers of nature and as nature. Anything that you fear, you fear nature. You fear the powers of nature. This is facts. People fear hurricanes. They fear lightning. They fear disease. They fear destruction. The only thing that can destroy you is the forces of nature. These are facts. Let me take some of these comments. So again, it's all love. Anybody that's serious about this, y'all get in my inbox. Start inboxes up. It's called, it's, we got a like page. It's called Holistic, uh, Holistic Life Village. It, it's tagged in my location on my last post and on this post. Y'all go like the page. Holistic Life Village. Everybody go like the page. That's where we at. We're trying to build. Anybody that want to support what we're doing, help expand the village, want to come revisit a retreat, y'all get in my inbox. It's that time. Health equals consciousness. To master health is to master consciousness. To master the health of your atoms, cells, tissues, organs, which make up your organism and allow you to express your emotions, which allow you to express your mind, mood, and behavior, your thoughts, emotions, and actions. The health of your organism is to master your consciousness. Health equals consciousness. To master health is to master the consciousness of your organism. The more efficient the organs, the healthier the cells, the healthier the atoms, the healthier the tissues, the healthier the brain, the healthier the heart, the healthier the lungs, the healthier you will be able to express your emotions. The more, clear, the more clarity you will have with thought, the stronger your physical presence will be. And then you will deliver an overall consciousness of growth, vitality, love, and living in harmony with truth, living in harmony with life, living in harmony with nature, with, uh, with self, other, and all life around. This is what we're here for. This is the message we need. This is the message we come for. I'm here, family. I fasted all day yesterday, too, just so I can give y'all this live, by the way.
and then now I can go ahead and um, I love I love everybody that helped support my journey, that helped me get here. I still need y'all support. Like I say, I don't need it. Don't even be, everything out here is so cheap. It's just like I said, I want to go ahead and today. If anybody want to hit me in my inbox and want to send some support to the PayPal, what we want to do is try to get a couple of things, some uh, some things that we might need for the village. I know I want to get I want to get some service so we can make sure I can stay live and we can broadcast. I can show y'all the village. Also, some things we want to get here. Uh, I think you said we want to get like a water pump. Um, we want to start expanding and get some more fruit trees. We just want to make it more beautiful, uh, make the uh, pool area more beautiful, make the geothermal area more beautiful, uh, make it more in harmony and more of a retreat setting so when people come, that it's, it's even like we're trying to make it as, as beautiful and in harmony with nature as possible. It's already Tinker Venus here, and um, it's, it's always ways to expand and work on things. We want to get things and things here for the kids, like maybe like natural swing sex, um, natural uh, things that they like to play with, like frisbee, like football. You know, just there's things when the kids want to go out and have fun when the adults are doing like yoga and sun salutations and having the different classes. We're going to have nutritional classes. Uh, here they do bitter they they do bitter teas every morning for the retreaters where they get the uh, bit, where they get the bitter teas which have uh, they very high in iron, and so we, we're doing the whole thing. This is a detox healing retreat, and it's also a holistic living village for those who want to come live. And so those who come live, they will be existing, um, offering their expertise, offering their knowledge, offering their art, offering whatever they have to offer to the retreat as far as classes, as far as help, whether it's food, whether it's cleaning up, whether it's keeping the land intact, whatever it is, and we're gonna live here in harmony. And that's what it's about. Peace, peace, family. Any questions and stuff, I'll go ahead and, um, as a certified, we must be growth steady. I'll go ahead and go, real estate laws. Going on, so I call it for four. Facts, facts, facts. But we got, here we already got land. More and more people got, there's not, it's, it's, it's many more, it's many more groups of healthy beings getting together around the world because we're waking up. And so if Honduras is not your place, there's plenty of places around the world you can go. Here's just already set up. Anybody that's, anybody that's in harmony with the messages I'm putting out or that any of us are putting out, if you know anybody else that's here and want to come live in harmony, y'all are welcome. But it's very important, like I say, that people that's watching my videos, reading my posts, if y'all want to live in harmony, y'all want to y'all want to serve, y'all ready to pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to human consciousness, ready to pledge allegiance to life, ready to pledge allegiance to nature and live in harmony with nature. And I mean, every day is beautiful. We don't stress. There's nothing to worry about. Food is abundant. It's beaches. It's rivers. It's oceans. It's mountains. It's birds. It's bees. It's butterflies. It's iguanas. It's monkeys. We got gorillas out here. We got gorillas out here. So you know there's plenty of fruit because monkeys out here. So, you know, we bring life. <laughs> this is what it's about. Everybody share this video. Everybody share this live. I'll probably tap out in a minute. Anybody got any questions real quick? Uh, that's amazing. Can I pray for coming? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. We're going to start doing, like, raffles to try to get people out here, too. We got a lot of things that we're going to be offering uh, to the people to make sure that we can get out here and live in harmony. Those who want to come visit the retreats or those who want to come live, um, we're going we're gonna to be uh, reading the inboxes and reading the messages and see who's serious. What's going on, Zach? I know you're going to be out here in a minute. Um, you, uh, we're going to be building with Phoenix in a minute, too, uh, Zach. I think we're going to go out there this week and talk with Phoenix. So, you know, whether you at Phoenix or here, you can always come back and forth. Phoenix is about two hours away. So we got another person that has 90 acres of land. He just need a, he need a whole bunch of help. But he got 90 acres of land and plenty of fruit in his land. Um, and he's about two hours away. His name is uh, Steve Collin. Or you can uh, look up Phoenix Rising. Y'all start following him. So, you know, anybody that's in tune, we re we're coming together as a family. We're coming to together as a collective human consciousness. We can't do this by ourselves because we're not by ourselves. You are a part of the whole human consciousness, and we collectively create life here with the other consciousness animals here. So the human is not the only being trying to create consciousness, trying to create health, trying to create nourishment, trying to create procreation for self, other, and life around. Every organism on the planet is trying to transform in nature, and nature is trying to transform each organism on the planet. So we're not alone here. Every organism, every species, every life form on the planet is here to evolve, here to transform into a higher organism. The human is not a new organism. We've been transforming since creation. We've been saying we we started off as a little a, a single a single cell a single cell organism. We have been transforming since creation. This version of the human is called the human. Before it was called this, we got a humanoid and this noid and this uh, a cordiodoid. Like you got all these other names we can go back to. Because we've always existed. Today's version of the human is called the human. 
We are not new organisms, new organisms. A moon is not new. This message is not new. This frequency, energy, and vibration that's being communicated through me is not new. And since you are at the core level, energy, frequency, and vibration, pure conscious energy, pure consciousness, then you are the energy, frequency, and vibration of health, or you are the energy, frequency, and vibration of disease to self, other, and all life around. And these are the undeniable facts. So each person you talk to, each person you deal with, you're talking to the lower or higher self of creation. We're all equal in source, vibrating an energy, frequency, and vibration that is either at a high or low frequency, a healthier or a disease frequency, a frequency that's in harmony, in harmony with life or in a state of chaos, a frequency that's in harmony with growth or in harmony with decay, a frequency that's in harmony with being vitalized or devitalized. So to be a high frequency means to be, how, how resonant are you in consciousness? How resonant is the consciousness being emitted through your being? How well can you express your emotional peace, mental clarity, and a strong body and express that as an overall consciousness to self, other, and all life around in a way that can sustain, grow, nourish, uh, and transform self, love, self, other, and all life around? A higher conscious being. So each being you talk to is either the demon or angel of conscious of human consciousness. He's either the health or disease of human consciousness. They either the destruction or creation of human consciousness. Each being, each womb, each breast, each chest, each penis, each vagina. It's just the facts. It starts from actually good as hell. Start from. So it's been love, y'all. I'm gonna tap out in a minute. Thanks for everybody that watched. Thanks for everybody that exhort. Thanks for everybody that's transforming. Thanks for everybody that's applying. Thanks for everybody that's absorbing the information, applying it, and allowing it to transform their human consciousness as they find their way back home. If you're in Babylon, and you're saving money, you're making money. The only reason you should be making and saving money is to get out of Babylon. It's to return to home. It's to get in the tropics and live in harmony with your natural environment. We tell, I, 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 I want to I let people know that they, everybody that has the abundance and, and living in Babylon, they should support what we do. Because right now, since money is created, we don't need money as a people. But since it's been created to support destruction, disease, decay, and malnourishment to our people, we want to use it to support growth, nourishment, vital vitality, and resurrection to human consciousness. So you're going to support, if you got money, you support in life or death, health or disease, growth or decay. One of the two will be supported. If you know you can't come, you send your appreciation for your family members that might need to come, for your offsprings that may come, for those who need to heal may come. If you know we're doing everything right and you can't make it yet, you're either going to support health or disease every day. You're going to support growth or decay every day. You're going to support this transformation of consciousness, of human consciousness for the better or worse every day, whether you want to or not. You're in a matrix that you cannot detach from. The matrix of life. The matrix of consciousness. The only decision being made is whether you attach and serve in the artificial consciousness or the natural. This is what the matrix was about. Are you attached to the artificial world of illusion? or the natural world of reality. <laughs> if you're not in your natural environment, there's plenty of people that's vegan and fruitarian think they're healthy, but if you're, if you're in New York, you can't be optimal health, it's impossible. If you go stand outside and if you go stand outside in New York naked, you, you, you'll freeze, you'll get cold because it's not your natural environment. To be at optimal health, you must respect your biological nature. That's not just inside your body, that's also outside your body. So you must be in your natural environment to achieve optimal health. You must be where the trees are abundant, where the fruit is abundant, where there's clean water, where there's clean air, where everything you see is in harmony with life. Everything that I look at out here is self-intelligent. This tree is self-intelligent. This tree is self-intelligent. This, I'm looking at intelligence. I'm looking at consciousness. I'm looking at natural consciousness every time I wake up and everywhere I go. 
when you look up and you inside of a warehouse, you working in concrete buildings, you inside of a square all day, you're looking at, um, there's, there's no intelligence in the room. You're not, you're not feeding your, when I look, when I look at the birds, when I look at the clouds, when I look at the ocean, when I look at the water, when I look at the rivers, when I look at the fruit, you, wh whatever you hear, whatever you see, whatever you smell, whatever you taste, you're feeding yourself consciousness. This consciousness is either information with life or information with death. It's either artificial or natural. So, as we know, corporate buildings, cars, clothes, shoes, none of these things are intelligence. And none of these things have DNA. None of these things are self-organized. None of these things can nourish or feed your organism or any of life. So, when we look at the natural world, trees, fruits, the sun, moon, the galaxy, the rain, all these things nourish human life. It nourishes our consciousness. It nourishes our growth. So we know the difference between natural and artificial. People want to keep a clean house, but they body a graveyard. How many women do we know, they be thinking they smell good, they got on the finest lotions, the prettiest clothes, the best makeup, and they body, they walking around like a living tomb on the inside. Intestines rotten, parasites, boo-boo stink, thinking you smell clean, thinking you beautiful. You hiding, you hiding the toxins. Don't put none of that stuff on and let's see how clean you smell. Let's see how your skin looks. How do you really smell? How do you really look? How do you really feel about yourself? You see the body as the mind. So when you dressed and cloaked in makeup, I know you don't love yourself because who put the makeup on? Who, who moved the hand and covered up the face? Who did that? You did that. That was the mind working. The body is the mind. There's not one part of your body that's not intelligent. Meaning that the brain is intelligent, my eyes are intelligent, my skin is intelligent, the saliva in my mouth is intelligent, my digestive system is intelligent, my lungs are intelligent, my heart is intelligent, my lungs are intelligent. So that every part of my human organism, I don't know about yours, every part of mine is intelligent. So this body, you're looking at a soul right now. You're looking at the highest expression of my mind, my body, and my soul that has come together to express as one body. There's no one part of me that is the soul. There's no one part of me that is the mind. My whole body is the soul, the mind, and the body complete as one, not separate. So whatever you do to yourself, that's the mind working. When you put makeup on yourself, you get these freight, these butt shots, these titty shots. Everything you do, your mind is working. So when you don't love yourself, this is when you put on makeup, you feed the body dead food. What people say, I love fish. I love dead food. Remember, food is energy, right? So if I love dead food, I'm emotionally attached to dead, decaying energy. And so now you're in a relationship that is dead and decaying, that does not nourish you. Now you're in places that don't nourish you because you eat food that does not nourish you. So everywhere you go, everybody you speak to, you're in love with people that, that is not nourishing to your situation. That will not help you and grow. You're in love with places that will not help you grow. You're in love with friends that will not help you grow. Grow. You're in love with a job that will not help you grow. This is what's happening. Because you have you are in love with dead, artificial, devitalized energy. You starve yourself while you feed the parasite on the inside of your body. A parasite is an organism who releases chemicals into the subject that make the subject starve itself, which means you as a human, if you have parasites, they will make you starve yourself and nourish them. So you adopt the mind, mood, and behavior, the thought, emotions, and actions of a parasite. So when you say, I love meat, when you say, I love artificial food, when you say, I love cake and ice cream, when you say, I love Skittles, that's not you talking. That's that parasite that you have invited into your body. You are starving your consciousness. You are starving your cells. You are starving your blood, anemic, high blood pressure. You are starving the lungs, asthma. You are starving yourself so much that health is looked at as a foreign object. Do you know what AIDS is? AIDS is autoimmune deficiency. It means, on a basic level, that now your body is so sick, is so diseased, that it views anything healthy as foreign. That's how bad it is. That's what AIDS is. 
That's why it's so hard to get rid of. That's why you got to fast. That's why you got to fast and do the most when you got AIDS. Because when you got AIDS, the body views health as foreign. You're so sick. You're so toxic. You've ignored your biology so much that health is viewed as foreign. It, your body doesn't even recognize health. That's what AIDS is. You're being dismantled by nature. You're being dismantled by life. Disease is an operation. High blood pressure, cancer. These cancer cells are living organisms. This is nature dismantling you. It's an act of duty. This is nature's warrior force to take out those who won't obey. That's what disease is. That's what information is. Those who will not obey their biological nature, nature has a force, a task force for that. Called cancer, AIDS, diabetes, high blood pressure. You're being dismantled by life because you refuse to obey life. Decomposing because you eat like a decomposer. We gotta understand that we as a human species are a frugivorous species. Carnivores are animals who eat meat. They choose raw blood, flesh over any other food. Omnivores are animals who can eat a little bit of both in their raw state, meaning they can digest, assimilate, and absorb raw meat, raw blood, hair, and flesh, and they can digest vegetables. That's not you. Herbivores are a species which eats the grasses and the wild herbs. They choose this over any other food. Insectivores eat insects. Grainivores eat grains. Frugivores choose fruit. And if you look on the plate of the average human, even if they eat meat, they eat more fruit than anything. Zucchini, to tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, uh, grapes, mangoes, all this is fruit. Most of what's on your plate besides lettuce and roots are fruits. So even if you eat meat, you still have been mostly frugivore. You're just a little bit lost. And the funny part is when you tell people to let go of meat, they can't figure out what to eat, but you've been eating mostly fruit on your plate and don't even know it. Fruit smoothies, yes, you eat mostly fruit. This is what a species is. Your species determine your purpose in nature. Your species determine your place in life, your place in the ecosystem. As a frugivorous species, we have made a mutual agreement to spread the fruit seeds of the tree. We eat the fruit. We spread the seeds with our butt. We breathe from the tree. We give back carbon dioxide. We drink coconut water. We piss to the tree. We have a mutual agreement with trees. As a grainivore, they have a mutual agreement with grains. The birds and the grain have a mutual agreement. The birds spread the grains. As the grains provide food for the birds. The squirrels and the nuts have a mutual agreement. The, the squirrels bury the nuts, and, it, and then they also, and the trees provide the nuts for the squirrels to eat. The bees and the pollen, the caterpillar and the leaf, the shark and the fish, the fish and the minnows, the minnows and the worm, everything in nature has a mutual agreement, and your food decides the agreement. Your food decides your purpose, which, which, how you will evolve. You evolve with the trees. The trees evolve based on the human providing breath, providing soil, providing urine, and you evolve with the tree based on what the tree provides to you. We have a symbiotic relationship with life, and your species and your food determines your purpose in the ecosystem on this planet and the biosphere we call Earth. This is your very, very purpose. If you can't do that, you're going to fail every time until you come back and learn how to do it right. It's just like a video game. Ain't no getting out of this. When you die, the, the, you don't die, the breath leaves, and it's going to come right back into another body until you learn how to do it. Ain't no disconnecting from life. You can't get out of it. You're going to serve life now, or you're going to serve life later, but you're going to serve nature. And every insect, and every plant, and every animal, and every star, and every galaxy, and every cloud, and every planet know that, except the fucking human. Everything in life, 6.7 billion other species know that. But we're supposed to be the most intelligent. When you have the highest consciousness here, 
That means you are able to go across the earth and plant beautiful trees, put animals in the right place with, they, with their best environment, put yourself in the right place in your right, right environment. You're able to create things that make the earth a more harmonic place. You're able to take your consciousness and use your health and use your higher consciousness to create a five-dimensional earth. By, by, if we know that we need oxygen to enhance our consciousness, we can plant more trees instead of cutting them down. If we know we need fruit that enhances our body to the maximum level, we plant fruit trees every fucking where. If we know that we don't eat meat and that animals do better in other environments, we put those animals in that environment. That is what higher consciousness allows you to do. But we have used it to destroy life, to destroy each other, to destroy the plants, to destroy the air, to destroy the water, to destroy each fucking other every goddamn day. And we live this as a way of life, and we love it. I'm repping for the low life. You repping for the low life and singing it and preaching it and loving it, drinking to it, smoking to it, eating to it, repping for the low vibration, repping for the low life. Repping for destruction, repping for disease, repping for malnourishment. Who gonna rep for life? Who gonna rep for the high vibration? Who gonna rep for higher consciousness? Who gonna rep for a reconnection to ourselves, to nature, to self, other, and all life around so that we can finish our transformation without beginning, without end, into a better human species, into a more conscious human species, into a more developed human species? That's what we're here to do, and that's what I bring. I love y'all. I bring love. Peace, family.